is. There it is again. Got him. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Hey, get this rod. Here, get this rod out of here. Bill flip. What's up, little guy? Got you on the bottom sweeper. Check it out. First one in the boat. Short, but nice. Pretty little fish. Guys, I'm telling you something about these fish. They're so cool. Like the color of them. We caught that one on the bottom sweeper. It's a two ounce bottom sweeper jig. And guys, here's how I tell my, I just write literally two ounces on there. Bite. Got him, that boy. It's on the John Skinner. Ooh, nice one. Good boy. All right, dude. Hey, sweet. What do you say? Happy birthday to you. Let me get one on. Uh... You see him messing with it? Nope. I caught, I only got one bite on the bottom sweeper. Everything's been on these. Yeah. Huh? The male finally. 15 and three quarter. 16. That's a male and he's fat too. So they're just eating. They're just starting to eat good. Those other two are females though. There you go guys. 15 and three quarter. What are you using, shrimp? On shrimp, back to shrimp. So it's a male finally. Hey fatties. Yeah. What's up, son? How we doing? Good? Yeah, I'm good too. You know what, you're gonna go home. How about that? Thank you. Wait, <laughs> you get on out of here, baby. Got him, there we go. Oh my God, where's he going? Maybe the net. Yeah, maybe. Get the net. Oh, there we go. Get the net, boy. Stuck Let's keep her. Come on, get the net. Stuck. Oh, yeah. There we go. Stuck. Sixteen and a half. Is that a keeper? It is, but... I almost want to throw, throw her back because she's got eggs. You want to live well? Well, let's see how big she is. 16 and a half. Yeah. You want to turn the aerator on? I don't even know you're on, dude. Crank, crank the handle. Get away from the trawl motor. Sixteen, your call. We can let. I'd rather take him than let that let a female go. Yeah, because it's a male. He's 
like stealth. You don't even know he has a fish. You and I are like, oh yeah! That fish was on this big of a shirt. That is a small piece. Told you, you don't need a big piece, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. So we're using Jumbo Raw Shrimp, guys. Giant brand right there. We're just cutting them in halves usually. That just shows you today's bait. This is the last couple weeks I've been using shrimp. I've caught a couple on sand fleas, but they seem to really like the shrimp right now. So that's what we're using. Good job, B. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Got him. Settle down, little fella. Dude, we caught almost all males last week, almost all females this week. Not even 15. Look at that guy. So pretty. Got him. You go, girl. Uh-oh, we got we got a line cut. Yeah, get that line. Kiss him. It's a little one. A little pop tart. Oh, jeez. Another fatty female. I bet you it's 15 and a half, but she's this round. She's a little football. Did you go shrimp or sand fleas? So that was sand fleas. Look at that, look at that fat little effer. Look at that size of that. Look at the belly on that girl. You stop it right now. <sighs> Hold on, buddy. Let me get her measured. Huh? <sighs> 16 and 3 quarter. 16 and 3 quarter. What's up, man? Trying to get down here as much as we can. You got a bucket? How's it going, dude? Uh, coming in. I had, I had turkeys on them. Yeah. They're all like 10 o'clock. I, I appreciate it, brother. All right, man. We'll be in touch, definitely. All right, you take care of yourself. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, two minutes. Tell them thank you. Thank you. Ow! All right, so we moved out here to the jetty. We have not been out here in a while. But it's windy, but the, it's pretty calm, so it's not bad. Um, we haven't fished out here in a while, so we're gonna give it a try and see what happens. Just let my boy Kevin drop off some white leggers. He's gonna bite me. So we ripped the we ripped the legs off. Um, we're gonna smash the shell and cut the edges. That little smash. That's what it looks like at the end. You're gonna go in one leg hole, out the other with your hook. Or as close as you can get it. Okay guys, so I switched back to the pen uh, battle too because I love this reel and I just like to fish with it every once in a while. Again, it's not my white rod. God, if pen made a white rod, I'd be so excited. Um, but they don't. I got one right here. Oh! Almost jerk, I want to jerk the fish into the boat from those hook set. It's two feet deep here. That was funny. Literally. I was like, oops. Sorry, it was first bite for a, in a while. Guys, I gotta tell you, pound for pound, you can't go wrong with Battle 2. If you want to get a Pen Fierce or a Pen Battle 2 combo, you're not gonna go wrong. And you can see it here, this is the 3000. I think the 3000 is an awesome all around series. All right, dudes. Something has stole my bait twice here. I'm not even gonna give it a chance. I'm holding on to this rod. It doesn't have to be a big fish. 
No, because I want to feel it. Because there it is again. Got him. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, shit. hey, get this rod. Here, get this rod out of here. I don't know. I could be playing it off, but. Oh, nice one. That a boy. <laughs> That's a keeper, he says. That's definitely. Oh! Dude, big female. That is a chunker. Could it be the new inshore PV for me? 18. Eighteen. God! That bitch stole, I put the rod in a rod holder, stole two crabs. And eating them whole. Crab. Yeah. Alright, what's up y'all? I'm kinda of talking to you sideways because the sun's up there. I'm here. Just short of my new PB, 18, 18 and a half is my PB, 18 inch. I guess 19. On white crabs. Gotta thank my man, Kevin Twilly. Came in and dropped us off. We got lips on a pretty girl. How you doing, you doing okay? Mmm, you gotta eat good. Morgan says he's gonna bring his GoPro, so we have footage for him on our YouTube channel. What do you guys think about that? Is he, is he ever gonna bring his GoPro? Run it. Nets in the back if you want to get. Dude, they're all nice little females. Nice one. Fat. They are so fat. Look at the belly on her. On 16. God. That guy might be on the nose. I doubt. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're bleeding like a mother. 14 and three quarter. Get out of here, bitch. Check it out, y'all. Just hanging out, out on the jetty, tog fishing. Ocean City's right there. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna call it a night. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Sam and the guys head back to his house. We're gonna go put the boat on the trailer, get some gas for the generator, get some gas for the boat to make sure we're gonna stay overnight. I think we're gonna make this into a two-day trip, one video, two days. If, see what happens. If mommy says it's okay. If mommy says it's okay. So, dealing with a divorce situation, you have to make sure everybody's happy. You know what I'm saying? But we're going, we had a good day today. We had a good day. How many keepers have we got? Let's um, four nice keepers. Are you guys. sure? Yeah, sure. Ooh, they're beauties. And they're big, too. You guys, four big, big saltwater cuties. Look how muddy that water is. So the big one, the 18 inches, how many pounds? 4.6 pounds. 4.6 pounds. What do you think, buddy? Pretty decent day for a chilly day? Nope. What's up, my dudes? Dudettes, kids, family, pets, and everyone. Yeah, that's right. Well, everything that Thomas was doing is now done because I have no data. But Thomas hooked up the fillets. Now we've got Sam's 21 incher, which has got to be six and a half pounds. We got our couple fish here. <sighs> it was a quality over quantity. <laughs> so he's been in the background he all day because he, you know what? Today. He had to hang out and slum it on this he boat today. And I'm sorry, but that happens sometimes. I brought my boy out for his birthday, Father Sunday. The Rugrats get to go yeah. hang out on the <laughs> slum it. Also, I'm in. All right, so we're just cutting up the fish, guys. We had a great day today. It was awesome quality day more than it was quantity. We, we literally all only got three to five fish per person, but keepers. out of those three to five fish, two or three were keepers. So yeah. it was definitely a day for the record books, for sure. And we still I love got more it, man, I love it. Guys, and this is what we do. Look at the payoff of the glorious meat we get. And this the is shopping. All right, guys, good morning. Day two, impromptu trip, Ocean City. We stayed overnight, so we've got our same clothes on. We're smelling fresh, looking fresh. Oh, totally forgot, mouthwash. It's okay, we'll be good. 
Um, we're just gonna hit a morning of fishing today. So until about noon, then we're gonna head home. So we're gonna meet up with Sam and their boat and see what we're gonna do. Not catching fish, gotta be working. Clean this baby up a little bit. Just got my first bite. It's been like two hours. One bite and I missed him. These fish are absolutely owning me today already. Like three bites, two bites, or it might only be two bites, but haven't set one yet. And they're just not biting. It's a tough go for sure. So nothing the second day, guys. Not one fish for us. We didn't catch one fish, did we? No, a couple bites. So we're cleaning up and uh, we're getting out of here. We'll see you on the road. Told you guys we're out of here. Fellas, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Okay, we are in the car, so we are done with this trip. That will wrap it up. It was another great trip to Ocean City. Well, not only do we get to celebrate Brooks's birthday, it's just what a fun experience. You know, I was telling Brooks just a second ago, this is what we do this stuff for. Not just YouTube, not just um, going fishing, but getting to take a man's trip. Or us being able to hang out with the fellas, do our thing, fish, eat, grill out, cut fish up, do the things we do on these trips. That's what's so fun. And we want to share those experiences with you because uh, we enjoy them so much. You know, what a great experience. We absolutely hammered the tog yesterday. I say hammered them because the quality of the fish was amazing. We've never had a day where we've caught that big of fish on average. And man, if you guys have not been tog fishing, you see all our videos for tog fishing. If not, go back and watch them. Look at the, the top right hand corner of your screen. Aaron, I've been fishing for these things less than a year now and they are literally one of my favorite fish to fish for and I what a great time and we appreciate you guys watching I just saw last week's video which we released was a talk video from a couple weeks ago uh, already over 300 views for us that's amazing and we appreciate you guys watching and commenting but thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts and we'll see you guys on the next video hey B take them out what do you want to say